Hello welcome back here in this episode I'm going to present you a money making opportunity that will appear on fresh start servers but before I do so please let me explain why this will happen. Right now on legacy servers main source of clubhead funguses is upgraded farmhouse which has a chance of spawning them on side of it on walls like you are seeing right now and they give a decent amount of clubhead funguses since those appeared clubhead fungus from extremely rare material became something common that everyone has and there is no need for us to go out in the open wilds to start hunting for those that are growing in the wild but on fresh start servers we will have to go back to the old way of obtaining clubhead funguses because there is no chance for us to get early access to upgraded farmhouses nobody will have them it will be give the star limit or materials limit so how did we manage to get those when there were no upgraded farmhouses well it was difficult but not impossible first and most common source were just funguses growing in the wild and if you found a mature one you just gathered it there is also less popular way which can give you more funguses than hunting for those growing in the wild. There are wild crops that you can find in open world in Arcage. They cost one labor to pick up and after gathering up you have a chance of receiving clubhead spore which is sapling of clubhead fungus. If you place it on your own farm it will be protected and you can safely wait till it's ready to pick up. They are really difficult to spot and I bet a lot of you didn't even know they exist. In my case it helps when I lower down my settings to the minimum because then the grass goes down and it's easier for me to spot objects laying on the ground. Second tip I can give you in, in you know your adventure of hunting for those is that I'm using my mouse pointer to spot any objects that are uh, nearby and my eyes are failing to spot those. This is in the background this is one of those example locations there are like two kinds of locations that I recommend you to visit. One is Clubhead Fungus's uh, growth location and second one uh, places where you can find wild crops. In both cases those are static locations, they do not change. So after you find one of those spots you, you can be pretty much sure that this will appear there again sooner or later. When you are hunting for clubhead spore, there are different wild crops and not every wild crop will have a chance of dropping clubhead spore. Totally give it a try when you see names like compact bush, wild plants or wilted grass. Those, in my experience, or if I remember correctly, those have a chance of dropping those spores. Okay, so now you know why it's worth to go for clubhead funguses. You know how to obtain clubhead spore you do not know where to go to start it. There's more, there are areas in the game that you can visit and someone already did all the dirty work. It's Kihado from Arcage Altstab blog. This guide that I'm linking in description by the way, this guide is pretty accurate I would say. Remember that if you find anything additional that isn't presented on those maps, it's static location so you can just extend it yourself. My last recommendation, give it some time, be patient and start selling when you are sure that your server has tier 2 or tier 3 defense magic defense potions listed on the auction house. This will be your signal that it's possible to sell those funguses now and someone needs to have them. So yeah, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, comment or subscribe. Thank you very much and see you later.